Mouth Writer again and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a YouTube banner or channel art on Sony Vegas 11, 12, 13, any of them. I don't know about any lower versions but I know it'll work on all those three so first of all really what you want to do is start off on Sony Vegas and go on to your project video properties or alt enter and you want to change the the width and height. So let me see, I've got it written down here. 2120 by 350. So 2120, second one by 350. So it should look like this. Okay, next thing you need to do is you need to get a background. You could use one of these backgrounds, one of these solid solid color color. Uh, one of these solid colors, but what I prefer to do is go onto Google and search, for example, blue stripy wallpaper, for example. And like, there's loads of options you could use. I guess that one's pretty cool, so go onto this, and then you can just go and save image. But doesn't seem to want to load so I'm just going to go into view image there is in it's full quality press save image and I'm going to just save mine to the desktop like that and now you can close this down next thing you're going to want is a font and you can get these fonts at dafont.com and there's all sorts but if your channel is monetized and you don't want to get a copyright strike don't go for the ones that say free for personal use. Find the ones that are 100% free. So for a start we'll find something cool like old school. And look, this one doesn't say free for personal use. So we could use that one. This one you can't. This one you could, the freshman one. The ones that say, look, 100% free, yeah. Just the ones that say free for personal use you can't use. This is demo, not quite sure about that, but I'm going to go for the top one, War City. And to get it, you want to download it, and it'll come in a, a zip, zip file. So I'm just going to get that, and I'm going to, let's close this down. And I'm going to get this and just drag it onto my desktop so I have it there. And just minimize this. And to add the font to your... So the rest of your fonts, you'll probably want to go into go into your search bar. I'm using Windows 8, and go into the control panel, and then go into fonts, or you could just directly type in fonts, which is what I'm going to do. And here we've got fonts. Open this up. I'm going to open it in a smaller screen. Here you have all these weird. What kind of file is it? I don't know. These weird like page you're looking files. To add your one, you want to double tap on the zip and it should open up and there you've got varsity regular which is our one. Grab it and drag it into here. And come up on screen install in varsity regular or whatever your font is called and you can close this down. You probably want to close down Sony Vegas and wait 12 not 12 sorry wait like five or six minutes for it to actually go in because it's not going to be there so I'm going to close this down no. and I'm just going to reopen it and hopefully our font is there if not I'll just use another one that I downloaded another day but hopefully this one is there if not you're probably going to have to keep closing it and down which you don't want to go back onto this 2120 by 350 apply Okay, so we're going to add a video track. We're going to open up our oops, desktop and get our background that we saved, which is this. Let's put it there. Now this, it should be like this weird shape on screen. So what you could do is press on the prop button, right click on it and press match output aspect and it will get larger like that and next add another video track and right click on that insert text media 
or you could just go into media generators, tiles and you no, know, I don't know whether it's tiles and text or legacy text. Guess default tell default text, just a sample one, and get rid of this. And what was our one called? I think it was called Var City Regular. So let's see if that's there. Yeah, okay, so that's the one we downloaded, and we're gonna be putting let's put L3 I3 Jordan like that. Nice placement. Hmm. You can move it around like this. Safe zone, don't know what that is. Properties, all this. And let's make it bigger. Don't know why it's like this. Let me, okay, forget that. I'm just going to close this down and get rid of that. Okay, I think the best thing would to be, ah, I think this is it. Tiles and not legacy text. And then, yeah, it's better like this. And then just get rid of this. Go on to the one we were using, Varsity Regular, L3 I3 Jordan, or we'll obviously use whatever you're going to be using, and you can make it bigger. So I'm going to make it a bit bigger. You don't want to put it all the way because about these edges are cut it off on like mobile devices and stuff. So I say about that size is fine. I'm going to move it a bit up to the top so we can add some more stuff at the bottom. I'm going to change the text color to something nice, something that sticks out, not too much. I, I think white looks good, but I'm going to go for black. Black, right? You can't really see that well. That's what you're thinking. So go into outline, outline color. I'm going to keep mine white and just make this as wide as you want. This will make it look a bit better like that. I'm going to close this now. And we could add another, add another video track, add some more text, and we this time we could just use the simple Verdana text for the font, and we're just going to type in our Twitter, so twittercom slash l 3 jordan like that. Let's drag that there. I say it looks good in white, and you don't have to do the outline for this one, but I personally like it, so I'm going to do the black outline, so the opposite to the first one. Make sure the outline is slightly bigger. Like that, you can't really tell the difference that much, but it just makes it look nice. Sharper image, better quality. And pretty much, you could just go add in whatever you want. You could go into Google, download a subscribe button. I'm pretty sure I've already got one, so wait, if I crop this text, make it a little bit smaller, move it out the way, like that, and put that there, and then insert new video track and open up. I'm pretty sure I've already got like a subscribe button saved, so editing, gaming pics and thumbnails. Let's see, yeah, so there, you could add this, make sure it's at the right place, bang, be a bit too big, so you're going to want to make this smaller, let me just get the right size, like that, oops, and you could just add that there, that looks pretty good, let's make it a bit smaller, like that, that looks pretty cool. And then you could just add like a logo to whatever's partnering you. I, I think that looks fine like that, so I'm going to leave this like that. And now what you want to do is you want to go on to video, no, sorry, my mistake. You want to go into project video properties and the height, you just want to make that bigger to 1440. I recommend apply and it should look like this. You're wondering why do I have to do that because on other devices you will need it to be bigger. Don't know what, what what's happened with this. Seems to have just got in the way. Let's make this back to its original size. Put it back where it belongs there. Don't know why that moved out of the way. So what I'm probably gonna do is now just add add the background again. So insert new video track and re-add the background that we used before, which was on desktop, move down, there it is, damn it, again, come on, 
over there. Ah, okay. What? Um. Okay, no, it isn't that. It's not that. Let me just get rid of that. My mistake, my mistake. I forgot what it was, so I'm going to go try and some different stuff, and I'll get back to you once I remember. So, remembered. So, mistake, I'm really sorry. Go back, undo, 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 until it's back to this original size. Okay, once it's like that, you're going to press a snave shot, snapshot, Save snapshot to file. Make sure the preview quality is at its best and on full. So snape, yeah, not snave, sorry. Save that snapshot, snapshot on desktop. Yeah, my tongue is twi tongue twister. And now what you can do is just go get rid of these. You don't need these anymore. Just go. Oops. Just go delete in, delete in, delete and delete and now now this is where, where I got it wrong now once you've done that go onto the properties and change it to the 1440 add the video background video track and look it's already there add the old background add a new video track and add the saved snapshot we saved and it should look like that. When it's like that, that if that's how you want it, save it. Make sure it's on best full, as I said before. Save that, and this is going to be the actual channel art. Save that, and pretty much that's it made. If you want to actually apply it, go on to YouTube.com. Make sure you're on your account. Go to my channel and then just the pencil in the top right corner of your old channel art. Press that, press edit channel art, and then select from a computer desktop as well. We saved it and it was channel art, it was this one. Blah blah, upload it. Shouldn't take a while, about 10 15 seconds, not even that. And let that upload. Get rid of these old down loops. Dun dun dun. Boom. Okay. So and then I'll just show you how it looks. That it looks fine to me. That is how you want it. I'm not actually going to apply it because for now I'm happy with my old background, my old channel art. So just select. You could adjust the crop if you want. And that's it, you could auto enhance, I don't know what the difference is, I think that just makes it look nicer, gives it a bit better quality, so I'm not going to actually save that. So yeah, that is pretty much how to make a channel art or YouTube banner with Sony Vegas. Next video I can show you how to make a logo, but that is pretty simple, I'm pretty sure you'll figure that out for yourself after watching this video. Any other tutorials you would like to see, be sure to leave a like rating. And subscribe, share with your friends for more epic videos. This was Jordan from Alpha Rife Free Gaming. I hope you enjoyed your channel art and enjoyed watching the video on how to make it. I'm out. Peace.